Hey, how's it going? So what is the one thing that can keep you locked into a job that you hate well after its shelf life? What is the one thing that can keep you locked in in a job that you hate well after its shelf life? My name is Gail Gentry and I'm an online marketing professional helping baby boomers create the online businesses of their dreams so they do not outlive their retirement fund. And if you're a baby boomer and you're watching this, uh, you may be in a position or may be in a, 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 a profession or a job or uh, something like that that you've been in for years, that you've mastered, that you've been rocking it out all these years, and you may have lost passion for it, you know, many years ago, you know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, but you were so locked into the job, you were so, you know, uh, caught up in the profession, you were so locked into the income that, you know, you may have been like me and thought, hey, you know what, there's nothing else I know how to do, this is what I do, <clears throat> it's not, you know, that fulfilling for me personally. I do it well. I make a nice salary and it's okay because I could do all this other stuff. But there's that feeling of being unfulfilled. It's that feeling of being, Jesus, this all life is made up for. So I'm coming at you with a quote that really helped me step out on faith, step on, step out on what the spirit is putting into me, say, Hey, Gail, you need to be doing something different. And I'm sure there's a lot of you saying the same thing. You need to be doing something different. You've always wanted to have a travel business. You've always wanted to create your own income from home, from home. You always wanted to have these different things and just straight up the fear to do it. It's like, you know what? I don't want to be broke. I don't want to be out on the street and I don't want to have to risk it all. But I actually had to risk it all and not necessarily because I wanted to, but because I was actually put out on the street through uh, or, or put out of a job, you know, through a through a uh, we called it through a layoff department closure, a department closed, and uh, we all lost our jobs. And then I, you know, got diagnosed with a uh, stage three rectal cancer. So it's like, okay, I'm not going to be finding work anytime soon. But it actually turned out to be the best thing that could have happened to me because had I not had that happen, I would have never quit my job. I would have just kept doing it, kept being, you know, uh, uh, bored, unfulfilled, you know, not liking to go to work every day, Sunday night being the worst day of the week, you know, all that stuff. But because, you know, the job got rid of me, uh, I got sick. I'm fully recovering now by the grace of God. You know, I was able to do something different. And this quote by Steve Jobs just really, really, you know, uh, uh, brought it home. He says, remembering that you are going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You are already naked. There is no reason not to follow your heart. And anybody knows Steve Jobs, he was definitely, I'm going to do it my way kind of guy. You know, he's the founder and, uh, you know, head of Apple or was, you know, he passed away several years ago. You know, he had a bout with cancer. Uh, he actually started the Apple company back, I believe in the seventies and, uh, him and Steve Wozniak or, um, uh, Wozniak, uh, started the company and he was in charge of the company for many years. And then went public, his, uh, board, you know, voted him out and he since got the company back, you know, and went on to uh, history with the Apple phone, with the, uh, with the iPhone, with the iPad, you know, with the uh, 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 iPod was the first big thing that they created that was revolutionary. The iPod, then he created the iPhone uh, with all the different apps, the iPad, and then all these other, you know, uh, types of devices that's revolutionized how we do, how we operate with our phone and stuff. And because he remembered he was going to die. I mean, literally, you know, when I heard this, it's like it kind of took my breath away because it's like it is so true. I mean, he knew when he was going to die, right? Most of us don't know we're going to die, when we're going to die. We know we're, we're going to die, but we don't know when. So we think we have all this time. And he knew he didn't have a whole lot of time because he had, you know, terminal cancer and he knew he was going to die. And uh, but before, you know, all of that, you know, he stuck with his heart. He went with, uh, you know, with what he believed and he you know, chose the path to do what he wanted to do, what he had deep in his heart that he had passion for, that he had commitment for. So I ask you, what do you have passion and commitment for in your heart? And what are you throwing away because of the job? You know, what dream are you not fulfilling because of the comfort of the job? Now, trust me, I, I understand who wants to be homeless, who wants to be struggling, who wants to be doing any of that stuff. But is it worth struggling for, you know, a year, two years, three years to have a lifetime of the dream life that you've always wanted, where you can, you know, take vacation whenever, anytime you want it, you know, or actually, you know, uh, one of my good friends, Keisha Bash, she says, I don't take vacations because I'm not trying to vacate anything, you know?
a trip if you just went away for a while you know for some fun and not work and you could do that five times a year because one you had the income that you created for yourself because that's what you said you wanted to do two you didn't have to ask a boss to you know can I get time off you didn't have to ask a boss hey can I go to my kids recital or can I go to you know my son's football game you didn't have to ask a boss any of that stuff why because you stuck to your dream because you remembered that you're going to die and the best way to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose you are already naked there's no reason to not follow your heart so you are already done for all right. So you may as well go for what it is that you want and not, um, you know, not settle for less. Stop selling for less. You don't have to settle for less. You don't have to settle for less. You can actually have the life in, uh, of your dreams. You can actually be living and doing the things that you really want to do. Um, if you're willing to pay the price of, you know, uh, persevering how to do it, going through the struggle, you know, for a short period, for, for a lifetime worth of memories, experiences, you know, relationships, et cetera, doing what you love, doing, you know, working with the people that you want to work with, you know, uh, you may enjoy what you're doing, but you don't quite, you don't quite like the people that you're working with, you know, and you're afraid to go out on your own and start your own business doing the same thing, you know, because, oh my God, what am I going to do? How am I going to get started? You know, all these things, right? Uh, getting caught up in the why instead of, hey, you know what? I have a passion for this and I am going to go for it. I'm just going to go for it and not look back, you know, burn the ships in the harbor. Do not look back and just go for it. You know, even when, you know, Dr. King said, Dr. Martin Luther King says, you don't need to see this whole staircase to take the first step. You don't need to see the entire staircase to take the first step. So I challenge you to take the first step. Go ahead and, uh, you know, create that dream life that you're looking for. So uh, that's all I got for you today. I want you, uh, if you, if you want a, a additional information like this, if you're looking for, you know, an online experience, an online business to create the life that you've been looking to create for yourself so you don't have to be locked in well past the expiration date, then check out my uh, Facebook group at uh, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Jerry's Kids. And you can get a uh, some some downloads there. One of which is the great book, The Science of Getting Rich. That book is wonderful. If you don't believe you can do what it is that you say you want to do, that book trains your mind so you can have a total uh, uh, re resurrection on your mind. Like the Bible says, you know, God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of sound mind. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And whether you're a Christian or not, you know, uh, you know, if you, if you have some religious tenets or even if you're not, you know, a religious person at all, universe, Buddha, Allah, whatever you want to call it, you know, God is on your side. OK, and he wants you to have the best life and he wants you to create. Why is that? Because you create. God didn't come here to destroy. He came here to create. Right. And he creates through you. So you have to you know, transition to love what you do. And uh, so you can share it with the world, not keep it bottled up in yourself. Stop keeping it bottled up in yourself. Go ahead out there and share it with the world. Get on the path. You know, again, it's not like, okay, you know, tell your boss I'm out of here. You know, you don't have the financing. You don't have a plan or any of that stuff. No, take care of your plan. Do what you need to do so you can transition and use the job that you have right now just to fund your dream to, you you know, um, to and work it within your plan. So, you know, if you want to see other videos like this, I mean, my uh, channel is really about, you know, creating income for baby boomers in their online business and how to go about doing that. And um, I have other videos surrounding that other, you know, business opportunities that may be of serve, that may be of help to uh, baby boomers looking to do something from home because it doesn't take the same physical exertion like like it did, you know, when you were 25 and stuff. You know, if you're 50 plus, even if you're in shape, you still don't have the, the uh, vitality and stamina that you did, you know, 30 years ago. That's that's just life. I don't care <laughs> how much shape you are. You know, you might be in really good shape. But you don't have the stamina <laughs> that you did when you were when you were younger. So you may be looking for an all online uh, situation, something that you could do from home, something that you could do on your computer and generate the income that you're looking for and something that you love to do. So I challenge you to remember that you are going to die. Remembering that you are going to die is the best way to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You are already naked. There is no reason not to follow your heart. That's Steve Jobs. So go ahead. And uh, join my group at uh, facebook.com uh, forward slash groups forward slash Jerry's kids. I'll uh, type, uh, you know, the address in the comment stream. Uh, but Jerry's is spelled G-E-R-I-S-K-I-D-S. That's uh, facebook.com forward slash 
uh, groups uh, forward slash Jerry's Kids. And there's other uh, checklists and, and different things available there for you. And you can communicate with the community. Please go ahead and like and share, comment on this video if you'd be so kind to do so. And also, uh, you know, hit the uh, subscribe button, subscribe to my uh, channel. And to get more videos like this and inf other information uh, that helps uh, baby boomers, you know, make that transition from work to their home business and one that they can create to have the life that they want and they don't re outlive their retirement fund. So that's it for me. And uh, go ahead and turn on the notification button. So when I do drop another video, you will see it. All right. You guys have a great day.